Are we going to talk about how to level up your real estate business when 60,000 agents just left the business? Yes, we are. I'm going to give you five ways to do it. If you're here because you want to grow your real estate business through really powerful systems and strategies, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name is Alicia Cresto. We're going to get started. In this video, I'm going to give you five ways to level up your business regardless of what market we're in. And even if you feel a little panicky about what's going on. I've been a real estate agent in Maryland for 16 years, and I've been a real estate coach for seven and a half and have helped many agents simplify their business and get bigger results, which is what we're going to do today. Number one trumps everything is that you're not going to go add a bunch of strategies, right? You're not going to get the panic button and be like, oh, I need to do all these things to grow. I need to do all these things to make my business better because you don't. Don't add anything to your business until you finish watching this video. Two is we're going to take a second and evaluate what we've already done, what has worked for you in the past, what has gotten you the biggest results, and really examine where the trends are. Are they coming from a certain group of people, where you go to? Are they all sphere? Well, what part of your sphere and how have you been connecting with them? What has been giving you the big results? We're not just gonna double down on those activities. We're gonna look and see where there are places that we can go deeper and be more effective. So one easy example is if you're already working by sphere and you already write notes and communicate with people well, maybe we look at, well, when we go show houses, if a neighbor talks to us, we're going to send them a note that says, thank you for spending time with us today. Small thing, but when you're very busy, like we've been in the last couple of years, taking those extra few minutes, maybe you didn't do that before. Or if you're getting a lot of clients from a certain group, we're going to go deeper with that group. See how you can deposit back to them. It doesn't always have to be financially into that group. What do they need? If you're getting leads and clients from a karate group that you're with, maybe you offer to have a karate class for your sphere and that helps not only the person who's running the karate, but also you and your sphere. This is going to mean that you are going to need to print out your transactions for the last couple of years and really track who they came from. How did you get them? What was it like? What, what do these people have in common that you can pour more deposits into that area? This is going to be one of the things that you have to do the least amount of work with to get the biggest return. And it's going to do the heavy lifting for the most of your returns for business next year. Number three, and this doesn't matter who you are, you just need to get out of your own way. And that looks like not doubting yourself and also getting clarity around the things that you actually want to do. What is the most important thing you do every day? What, what are the things that go into your 20%, which we all know 80-20 rule, 80% of what you do gets you 20% of your results and 20% of what you do gets 80% of the, your results. So getting out of your own way looks like not focusing on the 80% so much and focusing on those 20% of activities. That you, ultimately, you know from the tracking that what activities are getting you the results and how to proceed. I mean, does anyone else get in their own way? I even catch myself sometimes getting in my own way and I need to get out. Type get out of my way in the comments if that's you too. Four is we are going to look at who you are, what your strengths are, what your priorities are, and what are one to two max strategies that you can add to your business that runs without a lot of effort. For example, I have added magazines to my business plan and my communication plan throughout the year to send quarterly. I haven't changed my business plan in probably four and a half, five years, but I've decided that I would like to do that because it runs really on its own with very little effort for me. I pick the articles, I pick like some custom designs that I want to add and I write the letter in the beginning. Very little effort for me and it goes to my core clients. You might add something as simple as you're going to definitely write a handwritten note a day to your sphere or people that you meet. When I say these don't have to be big, huge strategies to change your business, just the act of writing that handwritten note every day could increase your business by a couple transactions for the year or more if you get connected with the right person. And the long term, year after year, the results that it will get for you are chef's kiss. Another strategy I wanna talk that's within number four, like adding strategies, is trying to do things purposefully that you actually love. If you love to hike, you're going to hike and invite people with you because that is lead generation. When you're having conversations with people who have like values of, as you, that's lead generation. Doesn't matter if it's swimming club, hiking, book club, going out to eat once a month, whatever it is, if you're getting consistently in front of people, that's lead generation. And that could be a strategy that not only helps your bottom line in your business, but also your mental health, which you need to keep strong to be able to level up your business. Number five is mindset. You're not going to ask, is this year going to be like last year? Or can I still do it again? We're, there's none of that. We're coming from an abundant mindset for one. 
and you're going to say, this is what I'm doing to set myself up for success. This is what I'm doing to up level my business and your mindset. You're going to have and develop a little bit of swagger. You know, right now there are people in your area that are going to need you to help them. You're trustworthy. You have high integrity and you will get results. You need to have and feel that swagger about you. It doesn't matter if you're the best agent in the world. You know that you're the best agent for certain people who needed a certain type of help. And you have to feel that at your core. So we don't need any of that. Am I good enough? Will my year be good enough? This is, you know, who you can help. And this goes back to writing down where your transactions come from and look at those people and see how have you helped them? What problems have you solved for them? And really think about how much did they need you? What if those people on your list went with the worst scummy agent that you've ever met in your life? How would you feel then? Because if you're not showing up like that, like I'm out here to help people and better my community and I'm gonna protect the people that I know, then that's not putting you in the next level. A mind trick you can do around that is literally look at some of those names and think about the person you helped. And like, yes, I'm here to help Susie. I'm here to help Jeremiah. I'm here because I know that I can help people like blank. And think about that before you make a video, a piece of content, talk to anyone, post anything on Facebook or have a meeting. You're here to help because you know you're the best to help them. The other part of mindset in this is that you're always going to be thinking, how can I layer this in? Things that you're already doing, how can you layer in a piece of content, um, a thank you note, paying more attention on how to go deeper with people? That's a mindset. And that's a decision that you have to make within yourself to, to layer in these things that you're doing into li in life that it doesn't always have to be like real estate or my life. Like they can really fold into each other if you layer them properly. If you got value out of this video, make sure you comment below because that really lets me know that you actually like these videos and to make more of them like this and lets YouTube know to share it with more people. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want more strategies on how to build your business without doing more, 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 make sure you check out these videos.